one of the things that brought me to Occupy Wall Street um, is the need for the 99% of, of the world to be um, represented. And I feel like by me including myself, um, I'm taking part in the 99%, and uh, it feels good. Okay. I would have to say the injustice that I've been seeing on the YouTube and all these like social networks of the like, police abusing. I just feel like these are the people that we're paying to like protect us and they're not really doing the job. I've seen women getting maimed. I've seen people just voicing like, you know, you have the right to say whatever you want. And you have people getting like thrown down and like abused on the floor, which is not what we pay the cops to do. So I think like me coming here is just showing support like, hey, like this is what we're supposed to do. Um, Quite a few things bring me out here. Uh, one of the things I have to say that really got me here was the faith in humanity and change. Um, one of the things I really felt strong about was the way this cops treat the protesters here. I mean, we're doing nothing here but you know, voicing ourselves. And the fact that they are put here to protect us instead they're supporting the corrupt go government, you know, it's kind of unfair. You know, we're just here to support. All right. And uh, what do y'all think is wrong with the system? Uh, I mean, so the one percent, it's kind of, there's absolutely nothing wrong. Um, everybody else knows that there's a kleptocracy going on in the world. Uh, the disparities of the world are ever increasing. Uh, the poor, poor are getting poorer, and the rich are getting richer. Um, and there's a moment in time where we've actually struck it. And you know, it's the world has never been so small. And therefore, I feel like everybody's in unison and understands that you know, while while people should enjoy um, their wealth and the ability to succeed. Um, there are others who who strive to do the same for themselves, and I think that's what's wrong with the system. That not everybody has the opportunity to, to, I guess, acquire the best they can. Um, I would have to start with saying that 42 percent of the United States' wealth is concentrated in the one percent, which I believe is totally unfair because the riches are, like we said, the riches are getting riches and the poor are getting poorer. Like, and I understand if you don't have a job, that's fine. But the fact is that if you have money and you don't, you're not doing any sort of way of helping those that are in need, I think that's the problem. Where people are just being selfish and just thinking about themselves, not thinking about the greater good. Because it is 99% of the population that is not as wealthy as that 1%. If you start sharing, we can maybe fix it. I think it's about finding the common places to both ends and making the meet. Secrets. That's all. Okay. <laughs> um, how has the system failed you or a loved one? Can you repeat the question? Yeah. Um, how has the system failed you or a loved one? Wow. Let's see. I've been I've been noticing one of the things that have um, that's been going on, and one of the ways that people have been putting their own struggles out, and it's basically a letter. So I guess my little letter says, I'm fifty thousand dollars in debt. I'm a twenty year old male who has whose healthcare hasn't diagnosed them with, who actually has the privilege to have healthcare. And I haven't been diagnosed or anything. Yeah, everybody, there are people across the, the country who don't have that. And they have several sicknesses that they will never know what it was. And who have died or, or potentially will, will go that route because they don't have the health care. They don't have the means to, they don't have the means to make their, their ends meet. Whether it be at home, providing for their family, um, health-wise, providing for themselves, or anything that, that I guess that as a human being, Culturally, socially, economically, you have the right for it. I would have to say having my mom work over 40 hours a week and not a 9 to 5 job. She's working from 2 in the afternoon to 12 at night, having to travel to New York, come back to New Jersey just to barely make maybe 30 or 40 a year and having to support three kids. I think that's what it's like. Um, I'm gonna start off. We're all students, or at least you know, all three of us are. Um, just the fact that there's so much money going into the war, a census war, and you know, there's a lot of students out there. At least a lot of people that can do or want to study, and they just can't because they have no, no economic means, by you know, how or where to do it. Um, aside from that, my father had a, was forced into an early retirement. Um, he's receiving 45% of what his pension should have been. Um, you know, I have, I have. Uh, Cousin who's in the war right now, he's he, he's he's out there actually with injuries that she, they, you know, he shouldn't be out there, but nobody, no one's voice is really heard. You know, what I'm saying there's only that one percent that matters, and that's just not fair. And um, what would you like to see happen with Occupy Wall Street? You know, I'll, at the end of the day, the goal is to get representation within Congress, um, and while democracy 
has succeeded uh, after colonization, I feel like it's taken a, uh, a negative route. And it's simple, you know? As long as we're represented as the people's means, as long as the people's needs are being taken care of, as long as there's there's no there's secrecy between the one percent, uh, keeping profit for themselves and then not taxing themselves. Uh, I, I guess as, as long as some of these things get taken care of, and and the world starts recognizing the, the injustices that exist, I think um, that'll be a good start. We just need to listen to people. We need to listen to the greater good. We need to look at the bigger picture. People need to stop being selfish and just thinking about themselves. And if we can somehow manage to get a, a bigger, larger part of the population to believe in this, it will be just a, it will be just a better world. I see a lot of good things coming from occupying Wall Street. Uh, it started a movement in a lot of places, a lot of places right now being occupied. Um, you know, just the fact that we have so many college students supporting as well, which is really good. I really feel like there's going to be some great changes coming from this. And, you know, I just hope for the best. And uh, do you guys have any final thoughts? Yeah, I don't know the words exactly, but there's a saying that goes something like... Let me see if I recall real quick. What's that saying that goes on? What did you think? Don't underestimate a couple of dedicated citizens that want to change the world. Mm. Because that's the only thing that ever has. Right, right, yeah. Thank you. Life is not important except the impact you have on others. Mm. Expect us.